Now, when people think about contracting for the government, they're always thinking about how to do business with federal agencies. Well, today I want to give you some sample size opportunities, not just only on federal, but state, county, and local government. All right, so let's get into it. So everybody knows about SAM.gov, SAM.gov, SAM.gov. This is the only place that you can find government opportunities. Well, no, that's not correct. You have other websites like fedconnect.net that you can use. But the tool that I love to use, and it's free if you have a woman on small business or a um, 8A or your hub zone or your veteran owned business, you actually could have this resource for free. Okay. But the, the tool that I love to use is called fedbidspeed.com. Yes, it is a commercially liaised website, but they have a partnership with the Small Business Administration. So you actually can sign up for a free account. If you want additional features, then there's other different uh, pricing um, um, categories for that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and log into uh, uh, Bid Speed, which is an awesome, an awesome tool, an awesome website. Um, if you see here, all right, you can see my company, Black Fox, when we got into the 8A program, when it expires. Um, our sales registration, our set aside, all this information, right? So let's go to search federal opportunities. Okay, you can go here. Now, this system is conjoined um, um, somewhat with the um, um, SAM.gov uh, website tool that we all use to look for federal opportunities. But here's where you collect a little bit more information, right? Here's the point of contact. Here's the uh, actual opportunities that are out there. Um, I'll always look for 8A competitive and 8A sole source opportunities per NAICS code 541611. As you see here, you can break it down, but not just only that, right? So not just only 8A. So we use 8A uh, competitive, 8A sole source, but we also are service disabled vendor on small business and also a total small business, right? So we're gonna look into all these different areas. So you see here, Right, um, posted on the fourth uh, USAID, they're gonna have, look like they're gonna have a small business event here in the future. So definitely gonna sign up for that. Um, you have all these different opportunities out here, management and staff support services, uh, 8A at an Air Force Base. Here's this one that I was looking at this morning, but same information that you will find on, um, um, on SAM.gov will be here as well, right? You're gonna get all the information, you're gonna get all the, um, all the attachments, but you can add this information to your pipeline, right? So let's say I'm gonna watch it. And the one thing I love about Fed uh, Bid Speed is that it's not so complicated as SAM.gov, right? You wanna add this to our pipeline. Um, it's, a, it's just a very, very cool resource to use, but you also can create this beautiful thing called a compliance matrix, right? So when you're drafting up your responses, um, when you're trying to figure out what you need to do to, to check the marks, you actually can um, download a compliance matrix. Now, it takes a little while because it's going to scrub through whatever document is attached, and it's going to produce you a compliance matrix. So you see the request right here. So we're actually going to get an email um, to our company website, and it should be coming in. Here we go. So we get the email right here. Okay. For the request and then the next email that's going to come in is going to tell us the breakdown of that uh, compliance matrix so this is a pretty cool website to use i say uh, go through it there's a lot of resources associated with it um, a lot of training tools that you can use over here you got all these training videos you have um, um you know focus on onboarding capability statement all this great information um, that you can uh, have at the click of your finger when looking for opportunities, right? You got your watch list, you got your GSA contracts. If you want to upload a GSA schedule contract, so you can see our GSA schedule contract is right here associated with it. So all the information you need. So if you're struggling with SAM.gov, I say come over to uh, Fedbit Speed because it's a great resource and great tool. All right. Let's go ahead and go over to the state level, right? So I'm going to pick on the state of Maryland uh, as a great example. So you can go to a website called emma.maryland.gov for state of Maryland. But if you're looking for something in your home state, no matter where you are, all you have to do is just Google your state and put on there 
your state name with bids or procurement behind it, and you should be able to relocate your free state procurement website where you're going to find the bulk of your state associated solicitations and opportunities, right? So let's go ahead and get started with uh, Maryland, what is called the eMaryland Marketplace, all right? So we can come here, we go to sourcing, go to public. So all the state associated opportunities, right? It's going to be, I'm not going to say 100% of them are going to be on here, but a good 88% of the opportunities across the state you can find here. So if you're looking for construction, hardware, uh, print shop, paper stock. So all the opportunities are here, right? So, you know, here's a good opportunity. If you want to make sure that you can sell uh, paper to someone, right? Here's a good opportunity right here that you can look at it. All the information is right here, the points of contacts who you need to talk to, all right? Good, great information to look for opportunities. We got school-based early intervention, elementary schools, and it's also gonna give you the date when it was published and also the due date when it's due. So take advantage of your state's procurement website. Once, once again, it's free, right? So all you gotta do is input your company's information Right, and all that information right here is gonna give you, uh, you can also put in there if you are a small business program, uh, uh, a minority business uh, enterprise uh, certified business with your state. If you are a veteran service business enterprise, it's gonna give you all your information right here. You can see here all our information, it's inputted address and et cetera. Um, but I say, take the time and just you know navigate through these websites for a couple of hours. So that way you know where to find opportunities. Right, and that's the state. So let's say you're looking for county opportunities, right? So I'm going to pick on Fulton County, Georgia, uh, as our as a good example. So I'm just going to Google Fulton County, right? Click on their web link. The cool thing about it is that the most of these websites they have a beautiful thing called a search tool, right? So if I wanted to search, uh, let's say bids. Okay, it should give me an example of where to find opportunities, right? How to bid, look like there's a, look like there was something else that came up. So let's, let's go back out. Let's not take the, the cheap way, the cheat way. And let's see if we can go back home. So we're going to go to business services, right? Typically underneath procurement or business services, you're, you're going to be able to find where the bid opportunities are at, right? So right here is going to tell you how to do business with Fulton County. You can become a, a vendor. You can look at opportunities. You can register as a, um, look like it's a minority uh, business enterprise. You can take their vendor training, all frequently asked questions. Everything is here for you. And then uh, you have bid opportunities. So let's go see what bid opportunities are here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so they use a system called Bid Direct. So they got a partnership with them. So you can register. Um, so that way you can receive notifications on opportunities that come. So let's see the open solicitations. And this is one thing that a lot of people don't discuss is that you can see the open opportunities, okay, that are out here, program management service for affordable tiny homes, uh, corporate stops and brass fit, you know, all these, all these opportunities, landscape and restoration, right? So we got 14 open opportunities right now with um, um, Fulton County, Georgia, right? But we can also look at closed opportunities, right? And see exactly what, what they've been buying over the past couple of months, past couple of years, you know, past whatever you want to call it. And we can look at awarded solicitations. So let's say that you're very, very small and you're just trying to get started and you don't have the bandwidth to take on a full project by yourself. Well, we know that these opportunities have been awarded, okay? A lot of construction here, but these have been awarded. So what do you think you could do? Now that you know that an opportunity has been awarded to a company, um, what you can do is that you can see how much the contract was awarded for. You can see the point of contact, all that information, right? But you're going to have to probably create a, um, a um, profile to be able to see in-depth information, which is very key because you can reach out to those points of contacts and you can partner with them because you already know that they have an awarded contract, okay? So that's an example of using bid speed, um, using a state procurement website, uh, using your county procurement website. But listen, there's opportunities on every level of government, right? So let's go ahead and check out some state stuff. All right. So we go to state. 
right? Let's go to the city of Atlanta. Let's back up, right? So I'm going to Google city of Atlanta. Boom, go to Atlanta.ga. All right. The one thing I want to do is that I'm going to go to where? All right, I'm going to see. Well, you can also go to departments and probably pick up uh, procurement. But here, I'm going to go to business. And it's going to tell me how to start your own business, how to do business with the city of Atlanta, et cetera, what, what programs they have. So I'm just going to go to bids, right? Procurement resources. So how to get started, how to get registered. A lot of times you got to get registered. Um, let's see if there are some open opportunities, projects out for bid. Yep, let's click on here. All right, so now you can see what active opportunities are out there, what closed opportunities. So let's try to pull up all the active opportunities, right? So you see all the active opportunities, senior program services, right? That's posted today, November the 7th is doing the 8th. So there's opportunities everywhere, right? Citywide janitorial services. So don't always get caught up in thinking that you can only do business with the federal government. No, there's federal government, there's state, there's county, there is city. And there's also one that we always overlook, right? So let's go to uh, uh, WMATA, right? So the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority. This is what we call quasi-government, right? So this is a government agency that supports multiple jurisdictions that we're talking about. It supports Maryland, it supports um, uh, DC and also Virginia as well, right? And they also have opportunity as well. So if I go to, and you can, whatever state that you're in, if you know that there's some type of transportation authority out there that support multiple jurisdictions, then that's what we call quasi government. So we're gonna go to business once again, and we're gonna look at procure, procurement and contracting. All right, we don't need y'all to know my precise location, but you can see here, WMATA procurement opportunities. Okay, we can look at um, view uh, procurement opportunities here. Okay, they want me to sign in, but I'm not gonna do that. But I'm gonna view all, all what new opportunities are out there, right? So you can see here, preparedness and readiness, um, initiative support, right? So many different opportunities that are out there. So we just looked at opportunities on federal level using Fed Bid Speed. We looked at state opportunities um, at, at Emma for uh, Electronic Maryland Marketplace. We looked at opportunities on Fulton County government. We found government opportunities for the city of Atlanta. And we also are find procurement and government opportunities at a quasi government. So listen, you don't always have to get caught up with one particular um, um, level of government, but at least you know that there are far more opportunities um, um, that are not on federal, but you have a lot on state, local, and quasi-government. So take advantage of this, and hopefully this information was valuable for you to be able to get into this beautiful game called government contracting. Y'all take care. Godspeed.